I don't like after blowing up two Death Stars, a bunch of Star Destroyers, killing Vader and Emperor, yet 30 years later, Rebels are deeper in crap. That's because you don't know the whole story, man. So there's a common misconception from, from fans who, I use the term fans, because they don't know the whole story, and they automatically just bash on the sequel trilogy without knowing the facts. Okay, so at the end of Return of the Jedi... Things weren't all happy, glory, like, oh, my God, we're the best in the world. That's not what happens, okay? It's not what happens. Look in the history of mankind, all the wars we fought, okay? We we defeat Nazi Germany, okay? We defeat Nazis. You think the next day everything goes right back to normal? No, it takes years for things to get back to normal, okay? It just doesn't happen overnight. So once the Death Star is destroyed and the Emperor is destroyed and Vader is destroyed, Things aren't like, oh my God, here we go. No, they have to establish a new, a new republic. So the rebels become the new republic. Mom Mothma then becomes the new chancellor. She moves the government to her home planet. She moves the entire government there. Okay. The new republic is then trying to set everything right. They're trying to bring in new senators, trying to get plans to come, bring in all this, these new senators to start a new senate. So, so they're trying to build a new senate. We have Mom Mothma as chancellor. Okay. Meanwhile, the remnants of the empire still exist. Okay. Just because Emperor and the Death Stars, there's still remnants of the empire. Palpatine then has contingency plans called Operation Cinder, where he goes and starts eliminating all these different planets. Naboo was on the target. He also has a contingency plan on Jakku, where he has Gallius Rax watch over this Jedi Sith temple that he has created on Jakku. You following me here? Because I'm hitting you with some straight knowledge, son. So this is where how it goes, okay? Because I know the fucking canon. All these people that want to crack on the sequels trilogy don't know shit like I know shit, because I know this fucking shit, because I read this fucking shit. So while these contingency plans are gone, the New Republic is trying to get, gather order in the, in the galaxy, because there is no more order. The Empire is gone. They're overthrowing everything. They're trying to get my Masa Media, uh, Ma Masa Media from um, from Coruscant. You guys remember him in the prequels? That blue guy who's like, "There will be order." He said that in the Senate. Ma Mothma and Leia is trying to get him to sign a treaty, handing over and basically surrendering the entire empire. There's pockets of the empire that still exist. Ray Salone's running it. Um, uh, Yup to shoe. A bunch of these guys are running this fucking the the, the the remnants of the empire as this is going on. So while this is going on, Nor Wesley, Wedge, and all these people are, are trying to take out pockets of the Empire. So this all leads into a big, giant final battle on Jakku. That's why there's so much wreckage on Jakku. Everybody fights there. There's a lot of death there, a lot of destruction there, but that's what happens with the, the, the final formation of the Empire happens there. So meanwhile, while the Battle of Jakku is happening on, shortly before that, there are Gallius Rax, who is basically the, the new leader of the empire comes up with this brilliant idea that the emperor has come up with. And he, he forms an assassination on mom Mothma on her planet. So after they form the, this assassination, um, mom Mothma gets shot, but she doesn't get hurt. She gets injured. So they then take the government from Chandrilla and they move it to Hosnian prime. That's how the government government gets moved to Hosnian prime. That's why it was because everybody's like, how come they didn't go back to fucking um how come they didn't go back to uh what what's the name of the fucking planet? Um Coruscant. Like Jeremy John says and fucking Mark Fernandez on rule two, because they know so much fucking knowledge. They're like, they're like, um, how come how come they just didn't start the government again on fucking Coruscant? Because the Empire still ran Coruscant. Masamita was there on Coruscant. So Mom Mothma took over the government and made it on Chandra on her home fucking planet thinking it would be safe. You can bring in new senators to represent all these different people. But yes, somehow Gallius Rex and the remnants of the Empire managed to brainwash these former um, POWs and have them attack Chandrilla or attack Mon Mothma on Chandrilla. So that ended up having them go to Hosni and Prime as the new government. That's why Hosni and Prime is the, the capital of the government. Okay, so while this is going on, and I know I just missed something very important. I, I, I know I missed something very important. Oh, yeah. While this is going on, before the attack, Mom Mothma passed a law to demilitarize the New Republic. That way, another Clone Wars and another Galactic War cannot happen. So, meanwhile, this is all going on. Mom Mothma is trying to demilitarize the, the, the whole uh, 
you know, military of the republic. And keep that in mind. That's important. Mom Mothma demilitarized the government. That's important because that would bring you into why the, the First Order is able to take over 30 years later. Just keep that because that's very important. So while the Battle of Jakku is going on, the, the New Republic managed to defeat the Empire. What is left of the Empire is then taken out into the unknown regions. That's what Palpatine's last wish was for the end of, the remnants of the Empire to go out to the unknown regions and to form something stronger and come back later. So the Emperor wanted the weak part of the Empire destroyed on Jakku. And he wanted the strong ones to exist and go out to the over, into the unknown regions. Rice alone then goes into the unknown regions. And then she brings um, General Hawks's father, Brendel Hawks, with him. And then he ends up finding, like, you know, Captain Phasma and all this stuff. And that's how the First Order comes to be. The first, many years later, the First Order comes back. Leia then tries to tell the government, look, the First Order's back. They are buying weapons. They are a threat. The, the New Republic... Doesn't want to hear about it. Mom Mothma is not in charge because it's like 15 years later, her term has expired. And Leia's like, fine, I will run for chancellor now, right? But then one of the people that runs against her finds out Darth Vader was her father, uses that in the Senate, basically blackmailing her. And then the entire Senate finds out that her father was Darth Vader and she is kicked out of the government. So Princess Leia is then kicked out of the government. Then no one listens to her. The First Order comes in, completely takes over everything, and then it leads Leia having to create the resistance in order to fight the First Order. Then in Force Awakens, we see that the First Order destroys Hosnian Prime, destroys all the government, so now there is no new republic. There is no government. Then we get to Last Jedi, where they are trying to do the call, right? You hear Leia going, we, we, we need help, we need help. Where's the call? Where's the call? But in the newest novel, Resistance Reborn, we find out that the First Order has a list of names from the New Republic who are leaders, and they then start imprisoning all of them, Lando, everybody. They're all held in prisons so they can't join the battle. So that is where we're at now. So next time, next time, someone wants to sit there and say, I don't know, after blowing up two Death Stars and a bunch of Star Destroyers, killing Vader and Emperor, yet 30 years later, the Rebels are in deeper crap. There, I just gave you a history lesson on the entire shit that happened within that 30 years. Books, try reading. It's fundamental. I love you.